All right, on today's episode, I'm going to show you how I've put a hard drive in my Z Gamma and a few of the web features that I've discovered. Are you looking for a satellite dish, a satellite receiver, or a actuator, or a satellite meter, or an LMB, or any satellite products for your free to air setup? Go to tech2000.com. Look at their wide variety of merchandise of many free to air satellite products that will soothe your satellite needs. So I've taken the lid off the Z Gamma uh, 4K receiver because I want to put a uh, a PVR a hard drive in there. So I have this old hard drive, older hard drive. It's a uh, 500 gigabyte Western Digital drive from an old laptop. Um, I'm not sure if I back this up, but I just want to pop it in there. There's still some room for, to put some recordings, and there is some files on this, so it'd be fun to play around with the media player a little bit. So here, when you're looking on the board, what you need to do is you need to take this panel out and then put these four screws onto your hard drive. And then um, the idea of it will be the heat off your hard drive will have these uh, cooling vents on top of it for the hot air to rise out of, which is good to help this thing uh, keep, uh, keep from overheating. I think there's another slot here for a hard drive. Uh, there's like a definitely a like a thinner thinner version than the standard laptop drive, but it looks like I have here the SATA and a power port for the uh, for plugging in a hard drive, which does come with the uh, the connections and the screws for that. So I got four screws here that come inside this little bag here when I did the unboxing video and. Uh, it has the power supply as well and things don't always go the way you expect you turn a screw here and then it strips it and you got this thing stuck in here because you can't turn the screw because it's stuck in that hole there got the screw out it was a bugger to get out but I got it out all right so the second step is to take your screws and then line up your uh, your bottom of your hard drive with this plate here for the shield casing and just Put these things in here like so and just put your screws in like that and and then uh it'll when you do flip it over you flip it in there and it'll rest inside the case so from this point you just put the screw the hard drive into there and you and you just attach the cables so you get your your sata and your power cable in there and you just gotta fold these down nicely so that they can go Where you need them, hopefully you have enough enough cable to <laughs> to make the run run on it. I guess this wire I'll just press down hard here, and it'll fit inside the box. Okay. Okay, I stand corrected. I had the hard drive power supply in that port. And I wasn't hearing any noise from the hard drive because normally, you know, you fire up a computer, you'll hear the hard drive. Uh, so I put it in there, and on the screen there, I booted back up on my little TV here. So I hear the hard drive um, spinning inside the Zamega box. All right, so there's what you got to do is you got to just make sure it goes into this port here, or that I think that port would work as well. Um, and the, this port has like guiders to help you know where to put everything. Uh, I did have it in here before, but then I realized it wasn't, uh, I wouldn't, wasn't hearing the hard drive at all, which is something you need to hear. Like these older hard drives that are not the solid states, the moving part hard drives, these ones, uh, that's kind of one of the nice things to it. I put my ear to the box and I, oh, it's not working. And I plugged it into my little TV here too, just to test it. 
And uh, the media player, the stock media player, I imagine there's plugins and add-ons that you can get, but the stock media player will play MKV and MP4 files, but because this is a 500 gigabyte hard drive and I have all sorts of videos on it, it wouldn't play TS files that were recordings off of um, other, like um, my Homeworks PVR for the over the air stuff. Uh, and also uh, my uh, VLC recordings with my HD home runs. It wasn't playing the MPEG-2 TS files. It, they are MPEG-2 files, but their extension is TS, so the media player just might not be able to read that. This thing can, um, you can put um, Kodi on this, and if you use it through Kodi, which it says here on the box, I was reading some of the instructions today, uh, right there it says Cody on it. So with Cody, you can probably watch all that stuff through Cody because Cody, I think Cody can play just about anything I've ever thrown at it. There we go, a nice little Z Mega box. It's a little bit bigger than uh, one of my other satellite receivers. I, I guess, you know, like the Amico uh, A3. But I love the fact that you can put a hard drive inside this. Which is actually one of the things I wasn't sure if I, like, when I read the original, um, Description of this uh, it said you could put a solid state drive in and I'm like what about the old ones that I, <laughs> I have a stack of them from old laptops, but yeah, I'm able to uh, Put a hard drive in there um, For most of my recordings for the 4k I'm not gonna you know if it's not fast enough for 4k recording. That's fine um, and sometimes there is um, If you ever record a wild feed with a, a C band or a KU band uh, recording when you're running in your PVR, sometimes the stream is such a high bit rate because it's not, it's still H.264, but it's like 30, uh, like 10 gigabytes for, um, for one hour. Uh, so sometimes, uh, I found that, um, the hard drives have not been fast enough. So for some, um, broadcast feeds, sometimes wrestling feeds, uh, the hard drive, uh, is not able to keep up with it. Uh, but other times I've, I found it had no problem working. Probably the weak signal uh, with the high bit rate too did not help. Now I'd like to show you how to use the web interface to stream over the air TV. I figured that out. I'm so smart. <laughs> I figured it out. I did a refresh. I put the receiver over on an over the air channel just to see if this will throw up the list. These things never happen when you're trying to do a demo but just uh, stays on loading but if you look right here where I'm I'm pointing here I got 28.2 W N Y F C D me TV <clears throat> so the channel you're watching if you want to stream it on your computer you click there it'll create a little thing that you can open up in VLC and you can see the program that uh, you can go to the um, the program that's being uh, broadcast. Now this channel for me TV has it really terrible. Like it's like it's got bars on the right and left, top and bottom of the screen. Um, with VLC, you can hit the C button, which will crop it, crop it to sixty nine, so that you can kind of full screen it. But by default, and it looks pretty bad on my TV. I always have to change the uh, aspect ratio settings for it. That's just a pet peeve with this particular channel and the way they show me TV. Why can't they just show it as a as a regular channel? So that's what you do. You just click on the little TV box here. It does load sometimes. It's just not doing it right now for the demo. <laughs> but uh, and and here you can go to your information and which is kind of nice because I was able like to show all the TV guide info and everything. Uh, right now it says not available, but for over the air, you can see the TV guide. That's kind of a shame. Mm -hmm.